Hello, I'm going to take a stab at this um, printing to layout and so forth. I'm in uh, Home Designer 2014. And the first thing you ought to do when you're going to print is uh, go over to Print Page Setup before you open the layout and uh, get all these settings straight. First of all, I'm going to use Qt PDF Writer. That's what I mainly use to print with. I'll click there on the printer button and go to Properties. And I'm going to print in, print in black and white. That's cheaper. And I've got to set the tabloid just for variety. I'm going to set it to the maximum size that uh, Chief Pro will uh, print to, and that's Architectural C, 18 by 24 inch paper. Click OK out of those, and it says Arch C. This should say all Arch C here as well, and it does. And we both want them on landscape, and they do. And when, when everything's set properly, there's no lines in this uh, image over here on the upper right. The other settings you ought to probably ought to leave alone. Now, I <clears throat> still have an open layout, but let's look at this show sheet tool over here. Now that, since I just said it, this sheet here is a virtual piece of paper at 18 by 24. Let's go back over to print, page setup. And uh, I got the drawing scale set at quarter inch. Let me set it to eighth of an inch. You'll see that the sheet gets bigger. It's not that the sheet gets bigger. The scale that I'm asking it to print at gets smaller, so more of it fits on the sheet. There's another command here that you probably ought to know about, and this is a this applies to all Home Designer titles, not just Pro. Go over here to File Print. Um, let's see where is that? I have to think for a second. I rarely ever print this way. That's not it. Now, of course, oh, there it is. There's a command I was looking for. Center sheet. It just centers your child window. This, this is your plan on on a virtual piece of paper at 18 by 24 because that's what I've set it to. And this is what this would look at look like at eighth inch scale because again, that's that's what I set it to under a page setup eighth inch scale. And then over here, this icon here, show sheet. Show sheet, center sheet. That's how you can print directly from the program. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to turn off show sheet. because That's really for just printing directly from here and not with a layout. Now we'll go over to File, uh, New Layout. And uh, you can see that there's some lines in here, or you should be able to see them. And these lines represent, or tell you right off that the Settings are not proper for this size paper. So let's go over here and see what's going on. I'm going to go to print, page setup. Now this is page setup for the layout, not the plan. Now I've, and here's why the lines are there. The program is set for 18 by 24. My print driver for the layout is set to tabloid. That's 11 by 17. So these lines show how many 11 by 17 pieces of paper. One, two, three, four. It would take to print this layout, which is 18 by 24 inch. So whenever you see lines here, you know that your settings are not correct. So again, I'm going to go back over here and find Architectural C to get these in agreement. And then the, this graphic here cleans up. And just to be thorough, I'm going to check the properties over here and make sure that uh, my paper is set for Arch C, and it is. <clears throat> I knew that it was, but you're really better off if you just don't assume any of these settings are correct every time you print. Every time I print, I go through this ritual of checking everything and making sure that everything's lined up and correct. Now, the, the lines that were in this empty layout uh, page are now, the lines are gone. I'm going to hit Control Tab to go back to the uh, plan, and we'll send this plan view here, send the layout. I'm going to send it at 8th inch scale, and uh, click OK. And there it is. You'll notice it has a little <clears throat> label down here. I, I rarely ever use those, but you're welcome to. You uh, click on the view. Let me zoom back so you can see this. I've selected the view and then open its uh, <clears throat> dialog. And it has a label tab. 
I'm going to suppress the label, which will turn this little guy here off. Okay, so I'm ready to print this, except I, I don't want the uh, terrain plane to show. I'm going to click, double click on that and go back into the child, the plan file and uh, turn off terrain, terrain perimeter. And that should update, yeah, it did update to the, to the layout. Uh, plan views automatically update when you make changes in them, in the, in the layer structure. Just for fun, I'm going to move this over. Got a, a little extra room here. So I'm going to move. This is the whole point. You call this a layout file because you can lay out drawings on it. And I'll do a, an overview. Most of my overviews uh, I uh, <clears throat> send as black and white lines, like from a vector view camera, this one here. Again, because I'm printing in black and white, there's not much sense in sending stuff to it to, to color because it's just going to come out in grayscale or black and white. Now, <clears throat> we'll go send a layout. And uh, current screen's fine. Click OK. And now that's the so software is pitching a copy of the uh, rendering there from the plan file to the layout file. Now, once a, a, a non-scaled uh, view gets there, you can resize it by grabbing the corner handles and actually make it larger or smaller. Yeah, upsizing it, downsizing it. These uh, other handles just resize the view. It doesn't change the size of the uh, view itself. It just changes how much is being revealed or not revealed. I'm going to pull that in a little bit smaller. We'll stick that right there. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the plan view and do a different, uh, let's see, what, oh yeah, we'll do the, the rear of the house. I don't remember whose plan this is. I didn't draw this. Somebody else did that I was helping. I hope they don't mind me using it. It's just for show and tell. Now we'll send that to uh, layout. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to adjust this so it fits better, the edges. That looks pretty good. I'm going to pull up the bottom and cover up that edge of the terrain plane down there. Yeah. Okay. So this is kind of ready to print. You can also add text over here saying that this is that and that's blah blah scale and that's that's not really all about uh, this video is not about drafting. <clears throat> it's about printing. Now when I'm ready to print from layout I would go to print again page setup and make sure that these this graphic is clear that these settings are the same, this orientation is the same, and make sure that uh, my uh, drivers are set up correctly. They are. Colors turned off. So I'm ready to print. <clears throat> so I go back and file, print, print. And you want to make sure that this button right here is checked, <clears throat> fit to scale, if you fit the paper, you lose your scaling. In, anything that you carefully scale will not print to scale if you check, if you use this attribute here. You always want to make sure that it's two scale, one inch equals one inch. <clears throat> What's this talking about? It's talking about the virtual piece of paper here. In the plan view, let me back up on this. In the plan view, the uh, scale is one, one foot equals one foot. It's always good to remind people about this. That says 24 feet, and in the software, that's 24 feet. But on this piece of paper, this 24 feet is not 24 feet. It's 24 feet at one eighth of an inch equals one foot scale. So in the print dialog, when it says, we'll go to print, print, to scale one inch equals one inch, that, it's talk, talking about this virtual piece of paper here that we're working with. Uh, this I, I rarely ever use. It's like if you're going to print this at scale but on a smaller piece of paper, you would check here. And if you wanted to print it on letter size or something like that, then that would work. I rarely ever use that. <clears throat> print and color should be turned off if you're going to be printing in black and white. And the rest of these settings you can look up in the reference manual and uh, read about them and so forth. 
but um, this is these are the basics about getting something to print. Now I'm going to click OK and print this. Oh, excuse me. There it is. Now when you print the PDF, you get this dialog here to it's asking for to name for me to name the file. I'm just going to shorten the name down to McCoy.pdf. And I'm going to uh, save it to the desktop so it can be easy for me to find it. And then you click Save. Now with a PDF, it doesn't print to paper. Uh, where is that thing? I put it on the desk. There. No. Where is it? There it is, McCoy PDF. We'll double click on that. It opened on my other monitor, of course. Let me drag it over here on this monitor. And there it is, and, and it'll scale out properly because I, all the settings are correct. If you, it's very simple and straightforward, but if you miss one setting, you don't get a, a scale product and you've wasted ink and paper. So, uh, Also, when you print a PDF, it's very important. Let's just, for fun, I'm going to print this. I'm not going to actually print it. I'm going to order it printed. There's some settings in here. See, the default setting on D Adobe Reader is actual size. Or you could... Sometimes it comes up fit. Well, if you use fit, you won't get the scaling correct. And this, you can see this is set to 11 by 17 inches here. And so only part of the sheet is going to print. So <clears throat> let me fix. I'm not going to print this to PDF again. It's already on PDF. But just to point out that if, these set, if you miss any of these settings, you've wasted your time. Well, first go over your properties. Make sure it's black and white. The size here is tabloid, not, not architectural C. You can't assume that the settings are correct. You always have to look. If you don't look, you get what you deserve. See, now this graphic here shows the whole thing printing, eight, 24, by 18, 24 by 18 inches. And actual size should be uh, checked. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, we could go into page setup, but it's kind of kind of redundant at this point because I've already made sure that it's landscape and architectural C and so forth. And I'm not going to print. But you have to look at these things and really look and see what's there. And you can't assume that anything's correct. It's only correct if you check it and make sure that it's correct. Okay, so hopefully this will help some of you guys. I covered all of the rules to get a print, something to print. Of course, when you're printing the paper, you have, your printer has to be able to print this size paper. Otherwise, you want to take the PDF to a print shop that has that size and uh, <clears throat> have it printed there. Because you, you, if you put this together for this size paper and then try to print it on letter size paper, uh, it'll either print out a bunch of sheets that can be taped together this size, or it'll print at the wrong scale. And you just have to keep your wits about you and, and keep in mind what, exactly what you're doing and what you want, and you'll get, and you'll get somewhere. Okay. Well, Thank you for your kind attention. I hope this helps some people.